thank you for being here. I want to issue a special thank you to uh, Congress for uh, the The government, which is a, an amazing machine that we have that creates public structures all around us. If you look, sidewalks, the streets, the lights, power grids, all of that is part of the, the public structures that make our communities work and give all of our citizens and our businesses the groundwork they need to succeed. And when the public, when the uh, investment bankers kind of crashed our economy, we faced a huge crisis. We lost $15 trillion in personal wealth. That's $50,000 for every man, woman, and child in the United States. That crisis also led to one of the worst fiscal shortages in state and local government that we have ever had in American history. Thanks to the administration and to the Congress, who acted quickly, you know, government can be a rapid response team when really necessary, provided over $800 billion for our communities to keep us going, and it provided a lot of cash. In, in Wisconsin alone, we got over $5 billion in tax cuts for individuals and businesses that allowed us to keep our economy moving and allowed us to make sure that our, our structures, our public safety structures, that our, our firemen, our policemen, our uh, safety net services, our civil services, all that was allowed to continue through the, through the uh, Recovery Act and the stimulus dollars. A lot of people don't see it. It was done quickly, it was done effectively, and not for, it was not a lot of drama, not a lot of show. It was came in to make sure that we could survive and thrive in our community. I want to thank the and the administration for that. And this today will be possible, what we're going to see here very shortly, in a few months, a creation of high-speed trains, hundreds of jobs, and all of that is because of the Recovery Act. So thank you. President Mike Thomas of SEIB Wisconsin State Council has arrived, and I, I see Ellen Bravo by Mr. Moore, a long-time advocate for uh, 